I want to talk to you guys on YouTube a minute and explain something. Um, when <clears throat> when the call was made about in the forties when the bombs were dropped, when the when guys sent out the call for help, and the waves started coming in about the sixties, the different star seeds that are coming in. And a lot of, of entities came in. A lot of star seeds came in and have come in since then. So from 2012 on, all the babies born 2012 on, they are already, well, 95 or 95 to 98 percent of them are coming in, uh, without amnesia, very, very high vibes. And the point of this is whenever they are adults, everybody else will be dead and the world will be vibrating the rest of that 15 percent will be in 5d no i mean it's a it's a fail, fail safe it will be the numbers will be too high of uh, the percentage of humans will be very very high vibration so that will finish it off anybody between here and then that is lower has the opportunity to raise their vibration and match that to go to 5d or not and there's many many other options that you can a person can take to experience all different kinds of uh, vibrations okay so when these waves came in the grid and by grid grid is a good word but I want you to think of the grid as being much more complex than just a single grid around the planet it it is very it's like a moving grid that is attached layer upon layer dimension density whatever you want to say very thick very tight very close quarters thick like very very th very thick tapestry only much more than that um going all the way through the planet now everything you have a grid on your human body too i mean everything is made up of this energy that flows that should that forms a pattern everything does you already know that we're made up of everything's made up of atoms atoms are energy and and, and they move okay it's not a big stretch right to think that those things change and uh so when these groups came in when the starseeds groups came in they had different jobs that they agreed to do to kind of work on this grid everybody does it now there are some people i've noticed on youtube that know actively that they're working on this grid and they talk about it in their human life that they do it but all of these entities have been working on this grid while you sleep everybody that came it's a major part of why you came okay that was done that's done it was finished and powered up power was hit into it on um on uh new year's eve so your job's done well done now you've got the option of doing some other things and most of it you all of you at night now you have different things that you do so you might see things in your dreams or something that is very very different like um you may experience places and people and entities and colors that you've never felt before. Some of that is you're going home when you're asleep. Some of them you're going and doing another part of another game. Okay? Very complicated. Mm -hmm. But during your waking hours as a human being, now you've got the option of doing something else. And the ones that I am talking to mostly are ones that are entities, beings that are going to 5D or seeking relief from the 3D experience that was so low vibration okay now on these waves there were different jobs that different people had some of them were on the planet because this planet has higher vibes okay so think of in source unconditional love is a hundred percent just think of it like that in 3d with that you just came out of there was maybe access to three percent of that unconditional love and I'm being nice about it <laughs> I'm really being nice now, in 4D, that ups to about 5%, and this is just kind of an estimate. Now, that may not seem like much against the 100%, but it's almost double what you've had, so it's a significant relief. Relief. Okay. These numbers go significantly up when you get to 5D. They start really rampant, that percentage of love. You start using it more than fear. In 3D, the biggest energy that's used for creation has been fear. I've told you that before. As you go to 5D and up and then out of the game, the vibration that you recognize as called love, unconditional love, is used more. Okay?
Now, in the creation of 3D to get to those lower vibrations, it was because they're slower and they they create with contrast, deep, immense contrast. That's why they're used. Now, the only reason the vibration of fear is called fear and the vibration of love is called love to you is because you are in a physical body that is responding in a negative way to vibrations you call as bad with scenarios that are set up that vibrate in that manner and your physical body and all of your senses are pleased and feel good with the vibrations that are identified as unconditional love. Outside of this human body, those vibrations are equal in every way. There is no need for more unconditional love, less fear. Okay? It just so happens that in physical form, in order to create like we've created, in order to create that this experience of using the vibration that you identify as fear in a physical manner to create something, another experience, then you're in a body that feels fear, which is one of, is how it's been designed to set up um, that those vibrations are fear so, so that you would be fearful and it would create more vibrations. Okay? Outside of the human body, there is, you don't look at the vibrations of fear and the vibrations of, of what you call unconditional love and go, oh, well, I definitely want to be over here, not here. Outside of the physical body, they're just vibrations and they're beautiful. Okay? All right, back to the point. When all of these waves came, and let's um, divide this into layers, what different people, entities, agreed to do was to work on different layers of this grid that go from higher vibrations to really low vibrations. All right? Now, the entities that came in working with a higher vibrational correction of the grid, they could be happy, happy, joy, joy bubbles. Okay? With the 60s, people came New Age thinking about meditation, all that stuff that you hear New Agers say to create a good and wonderful life. And for those that came in to interact with the higher vibration to correct the grid, those, uh, those, um, those things, those suggestions worked beautifully well. And people were able to raise their vibration. A lot of them went on to 5D. Some went home. Okay? But as the waves came in, there were volunteers that agreed to go deeper and lower and lower into these really slow, really low vibrations that to fix them before the first to get them kind of aligned and set up and set up how they needed to go. And this is all analogy. It's hard to explain on that side of the picture. Okay? So, the people that came in to deal with the higher vibrations, there was no need for them to experience super low ones. So there are entities, star seeds that came in that had a happy, happy, joy, joy life. Okay? And there are ones that came in that had medium ones, and then there are ones that came in that had extreme trauma. Who lived in, who live in extreme fear. They're collecting data all the time to try to not get in a position where that trauma will happen to them again. That would be me. That, these are the people that I am trying to reach. Okay? Because what happened was you volunteered to correct, help, assist the vibrations on the planet that were a little out of whack, that were on the deepest vibrational levels. Now, let me give you an analogy of how these vibrations kind of interact when you're dealing with them. The higher vibrations are kind of like flying through open, clean air. Easy, no resistance. You can fly very fast through it. Okay, let's say you could fly. Okay, now as you lower your vibrations, it goes to like, oh, well, think you're flying through fog, heavy thought fog, and then a driving rain. And then you can't walk, it, you can't fly anymore. You've got to walk. And then you walk through mud. And then you walk through tar. And then you walk to, through tar that's up to your shoulders. Walking through tar up to your shoulders are the lower levels of 3D. In order to get to understand them, to be able to 
work with those vibrations, the volunteers that came here to work on those low vibrations in order to realign them so that the first could happen, it could be powered up and the last bit of Earth and all of its inhabitants could get to 5D, those entities, those star seeds that came in to do that, they all they had to experience, they had to understand and feel and know those low vibrations. Thus, one of the big reasons why a star seed, there are star seeds on the planet now that all that new age stuff just doesn't work because they came in and experienced extreme trauma at least once most of the time for a long period of time. That was for understanding the vibration. So at night, you could take that knowingness of that vibration, those low, low, low vibrations, go to the earth and work with those vibrations and get them corrected. Now, in order to get out of that, you're not talking to the same thing. So the new age stuff that has been taught, it was very good at explaining to people how to fly out of the driving rain into clear air. But it isn't very good at explaining to people how to get through the tar in the mud and to grow wings and start to fly, go through the driving rain, the fog, and get to the clear air. Are you with me on this analogy? Okay? That is what is missing. And that is what I have opened my YouTube channel for, is to help star seeds or long-term humans that are wanting to make the same trip from 3D to 5D through this struggle. Now, whenever I say it's difficult, it is. It's easier just to sit in the mud, in the tar, and just kind of scooch around in a circle. And you can do that. You can do that till you die. Your body will be left behind and you can fly on out of here, out of this creation, out of this game and go home or whatever game you want to go play. You can do it that way. But if you are bound and determined like I am to get to 5D as close as you can, no matter what, then that's what my videos are for. Is to help the people that are stuck and moving in the tar to get out. Because it's not the same directions as it would be for the person who is is being taught how to get to clean air from the driving rain while they're still flying. Okay? All right? So that is the reason why, one of the reasons why a lot of star seeds went through intense trauma. And why I spend so much time trying to help these particular star seeds because I don't see anything out there that's designed to help you get through that tar into a place where you can stand and sprout those wings and fly again. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay? Does that make sense? All right, this one's going to go on YouTube. So, hello, all my YouTube friends. And uh, yeah, huge hugs. I'll talk to you later. Love you bunches, bunches. Bye now.